<clears throat> okay, hi. The only dormer I saw in your post was in that first image. Let's not trip over the nomenclature, but uh, that's a dormer right there. None of the other pictures have a dormer in the picture except this one. That's a shed dormer. <clears throat> so how do you do that? And I assume you want it in here somewhere. The first thing to do is to go to Edit Default Settings, Dormer. See right there. Click on Edit. And we'll go to uh, Roof Type, and you want a Shed Dormer. So we'll select Shed. And uh, the next thing is, of course, the, the pitch, which you've got set to 3. Let's check. I'm going to just click on Done there and open that browser again. That looks a lot steeper than 3. Let's see what you what kind of what the steepness of the roof here. It's got you got a 1012. Well, you couldn't put a dormer here with a shed roof of 1012 because they'd never meet. So it has to be less steep than 10. Let's make it 5. So Yeah, I'm just guessing, but all right, we'll go back to edit preferences, or excuse me, edit default settings, dormer. We'll set the pitch to five. Now the next thing you want to look at is, uh, see if these defaults doesn't fit the geometry of your roof, no matter how hard you try, you're not going to create a dormer. So you need to kind of practice with this until you get some sort of a, uh, where you can think with it. Uh, the height is here is set to 60 inches. I don't think your dormer in the picture is that high. Looks more like maybe 48 inches. Let's try that. 48. Once we get a dormer in there, then you can uh, adjust it and edit it. But sometimes getting the dormer in there in the first place is the hard part. And you have to adjust your uh, default setting so that the software can carry out the command that you're giving it to it, giving you. The software is not going to read your mind. You have you have to guide it with settings. You can't just expect it to magically uh, create what you want without thinking it through and guiding it. So let's go over to build, roof, and we'll do auto floating dormer. Uh, the difference between these two dormers is explained in the reference manual. I'm not going to get into that. We'll try the first one. Just left click on the roof. And I got an error message. Okay, let's try another spot. Okay, and so what's happening here? Let me go into plan view. See, there's the dormers. And, uh, the dormer can't create itself when there's other walls in the in the area. So these are I'm going to delete those because they're just failed dormers. Now if I move this, no, I don't see a spot wide enough for me to put a dormer in. Let's try that. Okay, that worked. I put it over here where there's no walls, and there's the the shed dormer. Looks about right. Might be might want to make it wider. That's just a matter of clicking on it and widening it. Now am I getting to say, okay, that caused that caused it to get into these other walls. Now the way you get around that, let's just delete that. I'm gonna take this this wall this roof plane here and send it up in the plan view, up into the attic. Okay, now it's up here. I think it'll be easier since there's no interfering walls on this level to get the dormer in. So I'll go over here to build, roof, auto floating, and then we can probably put it wherever we want. Yeah, no problem. It's just the dormer tool has, has limitations 
and uh, that's one that I've found. You want to get the roof plane up to an area that's not cluttered with with attic walls and so forth, and then you can you, you can do something. Once you got it in there, it's, it's pretty easy to uh, edit it. And then once you've got it where you want it, let's say we want two of these. I'm going to put them. I'm going to make these uh, six feet wide, and I'm going to move this over to about there. I'm just guessing. I'm going to copy that one over here. I think I need to squeeze. So you can't put a dormer in close to the edge of a roof or where another roof comes in, but I think that'll work. Yeah, that looks nice. And then once these are where you want them, I recommend that you click on it and there's a command here, right here, it's called Explode Dormer. And all that does, now it's no longer a unified object like this one. It's just a, a roof plane, walls, a hole in the roof, and a window. The reason I say that is because the window in a dormer that hadn't been exploded is very hard to edit and make it stay put. Now that I've exploded the dormer, I can uh, edit these windows and copy them and so forth. Put two windows there if I wanted to. And you couldn't do that when in the dormer is a, a unified object. So you, you click on the dormer and explode it. Once you're happy with the position, you know, I wouldn't do that, I wouldn't explode it until you're perfectly happy with the location and its uh, parameters. Then you explode it and then just, it, otherwise the window is going to jump around and, and, and leap all over the place. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. So now that the thing's been exploded, it'll act just like walls and, um, and roof planes. Okay? Okay, thanks for your kind attention.